Got the Rangers doing the YMCA over here. And, oh, Rocky. Can't take you anywhere. YMCA. We're gonna go check our mailbox. My GameStop is still closed. Beautiful day. Gross. We have made macaroni. You ready for bed, Mooch? Time for bed? Time for bed? <laughs> Time for bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she told you. Get your shaved fluffies down there, Mittens. Come on, Mooch. Come on. <laughs> She's got something to say. She's whining the whole way down. She grumbles all the way to bed. <laughs> You're giving me a haircut. It's my first time. Vlogging at the same time. I can do both. What? Did I do a good job? What are you laughing at? It sure looks like a homemade haircut. Yeah. <laughs> did I make you beautiful? <laughs> we both did. I guess it's not terrible. That's the spirit. It was getting really long around the I face. made you beautiful. Spin? <laughs> beautiful. What a good job I did. Hair by Bruno. Don't think for a second that he represents who these cops are from all over the county and around the station. We go out there to help people, not do that nonsense. I took the helmet off and laid the batons down. I want to make this a parade, not a protest. You tell us what you need to do. It was a thirsty ladybug. So these were supposed to be here today. I just got a thing that there is a delay expected. Okay. So I don't know when Amazon is gonna ship, so I'll order from Big Bad Toy Store as well. I just gave the ladybug some more water. She's totally into it. Oh, come on. Ah. Stop it! Back to bed? That's true. Oh, 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 progress. A little bit of progress. Well, I guess I could still place my order before the battery dies. Some of the power's out in the command center. Color changing viewing glove. I see you, squirrel. Oh no.
Well, should I get the Ouija board? There's our little window garden over here. It's pretty incredible. These were all garbage, normally. Well, these are all grocery stores. Yeah, these are things you got from the store. You, you chop them off and you throw out the bottom part. <laughs> Except we planted them and they grew into new things. But so much fun. <laughs> so this basil, what, you took a piece of this basil and put it in this pot, now this is growing? Yeah. It's like magic. Well, we put it in a, in a cup with water. Right. And it grew new uh, roots. Right. And then I just transplanted it. That's craziness. Too many tomato seeds, but we'll see if we can fix that later. They looked like that, we just stuck them in water, and then, shoop, just like that. So then, let's see. I'm saying that Finster's office is like this way. Office, uh, creature shop. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whatever you'd call it. Monster Matic. Well, yeah, but he's got like his little workshop. With the... So I think it's, you go, there are steps here, which I think kind of curve like that. Eh. Like that. And then Finster's over there. So we're trying to figure out Rita's palace a little bit at the moment. Still printing and working on the command center, but while that's doing, we could sort of start looking at other sets now. I think this is the second to last floor piece for the command center. Printing right now. And Mia's looking all pretty with her Bruno haircut. Woo! After dinner. Let's see your banging haircut, Mia. Woo! It's really not bad. <laughs> In fact, I would say it could probably take a little more off the back. All right. All right, tomato sauce. I want to say something that, that can actually go on YouTube. All right, so when Mia and I were driving across the country, one of our trips, or yeah, we were we about were, to cross into... We were about to cross into Indiana from Illinois. Okay, so we were driving along, doing nothing wrong whatsoever, and as I'm driving by, there's this SUV next to me, and I look over and I see the guy who's driving... It was an unmarked cop car. And the guy, yeah, he's driving along and he looks at me and he does like a double take. It's like, like that. He looked right at me and like his jaw dropped. He, he must have thought that like, I'm imagining there was this criminal that he's been searching for for years and he, he, I must look like him. And maybe he thought he finally, he finally was going to get his guy. So he slows down a little bit and gets behind me. And, you know, I... I it, the car was unmarked, but I saw that laptop thing that police cars have, so I knew that the guy was a cop. So I made sure that I was driving extra. It's probably <laughs> suspicious, but you know, Hopefully. just making sure that I wasn't doing any, I wasn't giving him any reason to pull me over. And he, I could not lose the guy. And finally, as we're about to cross into the next state, the police lights go on and he pulls me over. This was a really congested, high traffic area, and it was like a really, it was kind of a scary place to even be driving through. Uh, just a lot of kind of chaos trucks, super busy, super busy. And yeah. so we're on this, this narrow shoulder now. And the guy comes over to me, tells me to get out of the car. And that is, that was so scary. What did I do? What did I do? I didn't do anything. I knew I didn't do anything. So, um, he tells me to get out of the car and he makes me come to his car. So... Mia is now sitting in the car on the side of the road with all the big trucks going by. He puts me in his car, and we sit there while he looks up all my info. I mean, have you guys ever been pulled over for without giving being given a reason and and told to go sit in a cop car while they look you up? I've never heard of that before. Uh, that that was new for me. So I'm sitting there. I probably sat in his car for about thirty minutes, and he of course didn't find anything on me, and he kept saying to me. Are you sure you don't have anything you want to ask me? And I was like, just be, other than why? Um, so eventually he told me that um, my license plate, it, there was like a, a thin silver frame that went around my license plate. 
And he said that that was illegal because if you shine a police light on it, it's reflective. And then he couldn't see the state I was from, which is su <laughs> such BS. It was clearly visible. And when he looked at me, he hadn't seen the back of my car yet. So I, obviously uh, he let me go. That was that. But I mean, if that happened to you, you'd be pretty afraid, right? And and uh, resentful, maybe? I don't know. What are some other words? Uh now try to imagine if that happened to you, just that was like your well, daily... If that was your expectation. Expectation and something that happened to you, and in some cases and resulted in you up. being pulled out of your car and beaten and arrested for just driving, just having done nothing. If, if that is your expectation in life, that just you can be a decent person, just going about your business, being lawful, not doing anything wrong, and people are going to come along and arrest you or beat you or... Worse? Or, you know, start with, like, you know, some minor thing that could then escalate into something life-threatening. Right. There's a reason that people all over the country are rioting, protesting. Uh, and for the people that are looting, there are a couple things to know about that. One, not all protesters are looters. Those are kind of separate thoughts. And some of the people looting don't care about what's going on. They're just taking advantage of the situation, and they are agitators. And some of those people are people that, that may agree with the movement and they just have nothing left to lose. And that is after years and years and years and years of, of having that be their life. So it's like, I mean, personally, I don't like seeing um, looting or destruction and it, it sucks for store owners, for you know small business owners who d did nothing wrong, who are having their, their livelihoods messed up. But if there were justice for everybody and things were, were equal and good for everyone, there wouldn't be protests and, and riots and looting right now. I certainly hope some good comes out of all this. I, I have seen at least a couple of kind of heartwarming clips like I showed earlier in the video. Um, that's happened in a couple different states. Maybe a little bit of progress and I know uh, there have been at least some charges, some new charges for all the officers that were involved in the murder of George Floyd. Main guy had the charges upgraded, right? And then the other three were charged. And if it weren't for all the people out, you know, like more often than not, these things happen and the officers, they just keep doing their thing or maybe they, they get demoted to desk duty or something like that. So I, I'm trying to say everything very carefully. Uh, <laughs> doing my best here. There's a lot I would like to say, and a lot more I'd like to say. I hope everybody will be voting in November and for leadership, not somebody who would say, Then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem. Regarding American citizens who are peacefully protesting that very thing and just want justice, who just want to be treated fairly. Actually, while I'm still here, my cousin Harley, she lives in Chicago now, I'm going to read what she wrote on Facebook. This was posted on June 1st. She says, Yesterday I decided to support the protests by offering free rides to folks being released from jail. The mayor arrested between 400 to 1,000 people the night before. Yada, yada, yada. The crap part is people were only released from the location I was at between the hours of 6.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. You know what happened at 6 p.m.? Uh, the mayor announced that the CTA would be shutting down indefinitely in 30 minutes. And at 9 p.m., her punitive curfew would once again go into effect, giving cops the right to arrest people simply for being outside. What the hell, I ask you, were those people being released supposed to do? I can't help but wonder if this set of measures was specifically designed to re-arrest protesters. I gave a ride home to a person who lived 15 miles from the jail where he was held. He had been arrested near 111th Street, and because that was the precinct where he had been processed, that's where they kept his phone and wallet. But they had moved him to the jail at 26th Street, and that's where he was released, 15 miles from his phone and wallet. How was he supposed to get home with no money, no phone, and no public transportation? Chicago's a huge city, and it would have taken him four hours to walk, putting him into a situation where he would be outside during curfew. So she was raising money for the Chicago Community Bond Fund. Looks like she raised 700 bucks. Thumbs up for Harley. But, I mean, that that's unbelievably messed up. And, like, I, I probably have to end here before I start talking about the uh, the photo op. You guys probably know about the photo op. I, I'm trying to uh, <laughs> trying to keep it. All right, I'm going to stop here. All right, back to the wall. Uh, haven't done a whole lot since the last vlog. Maybe Goanger? Well, there's Hurricaneger. 
Aberanger, Goanger. Let's see, what do I want to open first? I, I'm really like, I've got, uh, I've got hurricane drain anxiety. Because that's a big giant mammoth. I really hope I can fit everything on here. Um, also Bokanger. What should I open next? Decoranger, Magiranger, Diaranger, Kakaranger. So I got O-Ranger to open. None of these shelves are done yet. Uh, please don't think that is a finish anything with Galranger. They're mostly just resting on boxes, which I've hidden with uh, some foam. So that is not a finished anything. Just very roughly doing layout for now. It's already been a couple days since I've uploaded a vlog. Everything that's been going on is kind of, I just kind of haven't, I lost like my vlog pocho. It's, it's just, it's depressing. But, um, anyway, I guess you guys can tell me in the comments what you hope to see next and I'll try to prioritize. I think I saw one vote for Goandra and one for Decoranger. So who else wants to add to that and who else has a different vote? And I'll, I'll do another video where I do unboxing stuff, but I don't think there's time tonight if this video is going up tonight. So let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe. Good night.